So, in this tutorial, I want to demonstrate a really powerful tool in Photoshop, which is the cutout filter. Let's start off by opening up Photoshop, and then it's open up uh, an image which I've got on my desktop. So in this instance, I've got a painting that I've made. Now let's say I want to convert this painting into a screen print. It's going to be a really good idea if I can simplify this image down. And the cutout filter is the way to do that. If I go to my filter gallery, we can see that the cutout filter appears at the top. There are a whole series of other um, tools that we can use. For instance, we can click on palette knife or we can click on rough pastels, etc. But the cutout filter is certainly very, very useful. Um, the cutout filter works with three main kind of tools over here. And the two that I'm going to focus on is levels and simplicity. The first thing is levels. If I change this setting, then what I start to change is the number of tones that this image contains. So there's still a reasonable range of colour, but if I take it down to this level of two, really I've just got two tonal levels to the image. I've got more than two colours, but that would be a really good way of me starting to think about this image as if it was a woodcut or a wood engraving. Let's push the number of levels back up again. The next part that's really useful is simplicity of edge. And if we think about this, imagine we were making a paper stencil. How complicated do we want to cut the paper stencil? So as I start to move this along, you can see that the edges are now starting to simplify down. And I can take the image to a certain point, and if I keep going, I'll completely lose my image altogether, which might actually be a really interesting thing to do anyway. But I'll sort of bring it back to this point. Click OK if I want to. I'm not going to worry too much. There we are. There's the application to that particular filter. Now, what I can also do is I can think a little bit about my print and the kind of coloration of my print. I might decide to make my stencils and print my image in a number of different colorways. So what I can do for the moment, I'm just going to save that image. So I'm going to save as rather than overwrite what I've done. And I call this cutout one. And I'm going to save that to my desktop so I can find it a bit later on. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to go to Image, Adjust, and go to the Hue setting, which is Command U. So Hue means name of color. If I move this bar, then I'm starting to change all the colors in the image. I might now go Save as this time. Cut out two, so it's going not to overwrite what I've just saved. And again, if I go image, adjust levels, I can also change the levels of the image. So I can change the midtones, I can change the light values, I can change the dark values. Levels is a really good way of kind of manipulating my image. If I now go back to adjusting color, I can individually tweak the colors or as I say if I adjust hue and saturation then I'm adjusting all the colors as they are relative to each other. I say all the colors of course white and black aren't color they're achromatics so black remains black white remains white. Another thing I can change is the saturation of the colour. So again, if I go to Image, Adjust, Hue and Saturation, if I bump the saturation up, then I'm going to increase the chroma or intensity of the colour. So I'll end up producing very, very, very highly saturated colour. If I've taken an image too far, it's always worth remembering that we have a history. So if I view 
on the windows, my history. This is going to tell me some of the things that I've done. I can backtrack, taking it back to an earlier state. Okay, now I'm going to sort of zoom in, to look at my image, and then again now I'm going to change. the saturation right down. With no saturation, I'm going to get a black and white image. If I bump the saturation up a bit and then change the hue in the opposite direction, I might arrive at another solution that I'm happy with. I can zoom out again by using the Alt key and then I can save that. So it's a really simple overview of the cutout filter. Fantastic tool to simplify your imagery down, really useful to feed into your illustration work, particularly your fashion illustration work or your digital kind of illustration work. Also to inform your uh, painting or drawing. So really good thing to work from in terms of palette knife painting or collage.